So this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to coin join your Bitcoin using Wasabi wallet and then place that into cold storage using a cold card hardware wallet. So this is for anyone that recognizes that privacy is important. There are going to be a couple of steps involved in this because you can't coin join straight into your cold card. So what we're going to do is set up a wallet with Wasabi on your computer, which will do the coin joins in. And then once the coin join is completed, we then send those coins off to our cold card wallet. So first step, I'm going to plug in my cold card via a cable into my laptop. You don't have to do this. You can use an SD card, micro SD card uh, and maintain the air gap. So for now, I'm going to plug in my cold card. I click on hardware wallet on the left there and I click search hardware wallets. You'll see cold card appears. I click on that and I click load wallet. In a second, the cold card wallet will appear on the right hand side in Wallet Explorer. Next up, I'm going to generate the new wallet in which I'm going to do the coin joins. So I click generate wallet. I give it a name, coin join wallet. I also give it a password and then I click next. It gives you the recovery words uh, that you need to write down in case you lose this, uh, you, in case you lose your wallet or your computer's corrupted or something like that. Write those down somewhere securely, generate wallet. So now you'll see on the right hand side, we've got the two wallets. We've got our coin join wallet we've just created and we've got our cold card wallet, which we attached at the start. So now in Wasabi, in order to receive funds, it makes you generate a label for your address. So it encourages users to maintain good coin control. So we're going to enter a label here, coin join demo transaction, and then we're going to click on generate receive address. Once we do that, it gives us our address to receive Bitcoin to. It automatically copies to clipboard, but you can right click and click copy if you want to. Now off screen, I'm going to go to uh, another wallet I've got and I'm going to send some Bitcoin to that address that we just created. So if we want to set up a coin join, what we need to do is on the coin join tab that we're on and fast forward in time, here we are, we've got the funds received into our Wasabi wallet. We need to select the coin. We go down into our password and click in queue selected coins. Now what's going to happen is when the next coin join round starts, our coins will be inserted into that and off we go. Now, while the coin join is running, you need to leave Wasabi open your computer on your internet connected, obviously with your screen locked, your computer not accessible by other people. Now this will take some time to, to take place. Okay, so I'm coming back to my Wasabi wallet a couple of days later. I've let the coin join run in the background, put my laptop on and connected to the internet with Wasabi open. If we click on the coin join wallet, coin join, we'll see there's two coins there. One is the change from the coin join that hasn't been mixed and made private. The other one is the output from the coin join, which has been coin joined. And you'll see there that they've got privacy symbols. Red means no privacy, green means privacy. If you hover over, it tells you the anonymity, 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 it tells you the anonymity set of 86. So actually that coin's been mixed 86 times and that's because I actually stopped the coin join and then restarted it at a certain point. But normally by default, the settings in Wasabi attempt to mix your coins up to a set of 50, which is deemed appropriate. Um, and it can take a, a day or so, it depends how quickly the rounds go through. There's a registration uh, that counts down, I think hourly, uh, and that counts down until they've got the number of peers, and you can see some details in the bottom right about that. But essentially, once you've queued your, your coins for coin join, you leave it all open, obviously your computer screen locked, or you know, so someone can't access your computer and you let it run. So here we've got the output. 
Now we've done the mixing, we want to move this to our cold card. So to do that, we go over to the side, we click on cold card, we click on receive. And as is practice with Wasabi, it doesn't let you generate a receive address until you've put a label in. So we're going to put a label in now that, that will make sense to us in the future. So So I'm labeling where I bought them from and then also that they've been coin joined and what the anonymity set is. And that's important because once we send these coins from our Wasabi coin join wallet to our cold card, the cold card doesn't know that they've been coin joined or what the anonymity set is. So we need to keep that information in the label. Once it's received in the cold card wallet, it, it will show the privacy as red as, as not having been coin joined. Um, obviously we know that they have been, so that's why you put the information in the label. So I put the label in, I click generate receive address. My settings have it so that the address is automatically copied, but you can right click copy address. We then move back to the coin join wallet to send. We're going to select the coins that we want to send. So we're going to select the private coin. The address is pasted in there, the address. We can label the outgoing transaction in Wasabi if we want to. So let's go to send to cold card. And then you can play around with the fees if you want to. Finally, you input your password in order to send the transaction. Once that's done, you click send and the transaction will be broadcast and those funds will be received into your cold card wallet as they're processed by the network. One very important note here is do not mix, do not send together coins that are private and coins that are not private. And there we see a little warning from Wasabi. If you're mixing coins that are not private, that potentially have detail about data about yourself, um, perhaps they've been KYC coins, other information is linked to your identity. And then you send them in a transaction with some private coins, it undoes the privacy of the private coins. So do not mix private and unprivate coins or else it undoes the work of the mixing. So send them separately, um, never together. Um, and that's it really, that's how you take coins, coin join them in Wasabi, and then send to a hard wallet, in this case, cold card for cold storage offline. Um, if this was helpful, please like the video and feel free to subscribe to the channel.